Dozens of catalytic converters have been stolen off of buses across the state just this month alone. Just yesterday here in East Hartford, at least 30 catalytic converters were stolen off of school buses. And now state lawmakers are proposing a bill to protect you in case of a theft. State Representative Gary Turco is proposing new legislation that would require insurance to cover the replacement cost of stolen converters. He says the idea was first brought up by a woman who had her stolen out of her driveway and the cost was too pricey to immediately get a new one. I think it's really important to people across the state that they have uh, a safety net uh, in insurance to be able to uh, cover the cost for them. They really are operations, basically, are organized crime. I mean, there's groups of individuals that are, um, you know, figuring out where they're going to make these thefts, uh, conducting the thefts, and then selling them on the black market. The catalytic converters in East Hartford were discovered stolen yesterday morning, but it's still unclear when the thieves snatched them over the weekend. Just two weeks ago, catalytic converters were stolen off buses in Torrington as well, and that caused a two-hour delay to school and an estimated $30,000 price tag. A law was passed last year that requires scrap yards to keep records of converter sales to try and crack down, but police have found many thieves will sell other ways. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, catalytic converter thefts have risen more than 1,000% nationwide. That's because the value of the precious metals in the converters is soaring. Buses are a big target because criminals can easily get under them to cut the converters off. Despite the thefts here in East Hartford, there were no impacts to school today. An investigation is still underway by East Hartford police, but at this time there are no suspects in custody. And as for that proposed bill, if you're a victim of a catalytic converter theft or you're a supporter of that legislation, you can write a testimony online on the state's website. That link is on our website, fox61.com. In East Hartford, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61 News.